Today is Martin Luther King Day, and numerous local groups use the day as a platform to revisit the late activist lessons. News 11's John Buffone has more. Sam, this morning children at the Crispus Attucks Community Center heard first-hand experiences of the segregated South in the 1960s and also received advice on how to carry on Dr. King's dream. So I just want you to know that you are somebody. Curtis Robinson lived through the civil rights movement in the 1960s. He was forced to leave his home in Birmingham because of racial violence. And on the day that honors Martin Luther King Jr.'s life, Robinson shared his own struggle with the children at the Crispus Attucks Community Center in Lancaster. 52 years ago, African Americans couldn't vote in America. It was against the law. I mean, you know, if you get caught with a book, you get hung because you can't control an educated person. I have a dream. Robinson told the children of King's passion for nonviolent protest and the effectiveness of respectful conversation. Well, the thing is, is that nothing is solved with violence. Uh, I don't think, I think if Dr. Martin Luther King had fought back, we never would have got the Civil Rights Bill. But Martin Luther King went to the heart of the human and said, hey, look, don't hate me because of the color of my skin, right? Judge me by the content of my character, right? And I just treat me like a human being, that's all. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation. After talking about the past, Robinson then focused on the future stressing education as one of the most important things kids can rely on. There's 300 million people in America. There's probably 1,500 professional athletes. And if you take hockey, soccer, baseball, basketball, maybe 1,500. So the chance of you being drafted by the NBA is like hitting the lottery. So don't think you're going to go to school and play basketball, and that's going to save you. got to get an education. In order to get closer to the America in Dr. King's vision, Robinson stated that we all must start in our own community. We got to stop talking about social issue. We got to start talking about economics. You know, every country, and we got to start talking about keeping the money inside the community. Every Friday, everybody leaves this area with a paycheck. So it's like going to a bank, always making a, a, a withdrawal, never a deposit. While talking to Robinson, it was clear that he believes social change can come through economic change. He also said that if Martin Luther King Jr. was alive today, He'd be happy with some of the progress that has been made, but he'd also think there's a lot more work to be done. Reporting in studio, John Buffone, News 11.